Well, now to the man who said he could resist anything except temptation. Oscar Wilde, of course. Well done. And yeah. this weekend sees Reading Jail, where he was locked up, open its doors to everyone for the very first time. Greg McKenzie has been for an exclusive look. It is always twilight in one's cell, as it is always midnight in one's heart. Back in 1897, Oscar Wilde wrote one of his last great works here in Reading, De Profundus. It was an epic 50,000-word letter to his lover, Lord Alfred Douglas. But the inspiration came not from these leafy streets, but from inside there, Reading Jail. Wilde was imprisoned here for almost two years after being convicted for gross indecency when details of his relationships with men came to light. But now the Victorian wing of the prison where he was incarcerated is going to be open to the public for the first time in its 170 year history for an art installation that will celebrate Wilde's life inside. One of the major exhibits includes the original door to a cell C33, which was Oscar Wilde's uh, prison number, where some great performers will read Oscar Wilde's De Profundis in its entirety. Maxine Peake, Ben Whishaw, Patti Smith. There are nine wings with different exhibits. Oscar Wilde's cell. It's quite hard to imagine what it must have been like back then. It would have been quite different. There wouldn't be this sink. It probably would have been quite cold, quite damp, and certainly lonely. And to tell me how bleak his time in prison would have been is archivist Mark Stevens. He would have had a, a plank bed, and the plank bed would have had a very thin mattress on top of it. Um, and he would have had a bowl in which he would have been obliged to slop out three times every day. Oscar came into Reading Jail as what was called the separate system. Out of 22 hours, out of 24, every day, prisoners are going to be on their own in their cells. Now, the idea about it is that you give a prisoner time to reflect on the evils of their way and thus find Victorian salvation. Uh, from the beginning of 1897, he started to write his monumental work De Profundis. Oscar was allowed one piece of paper a day, and at the end of each day, that piece of paper was collected from him. To those who are in prison, tears are a part of every day's experience. A day in prison on which one does not weep is a day on which one's heart is hard, not a day on which one's heart is happy. The prison destroyed him. He had a long sentence two years, and at the end of it, his health issues were such that he never really recovered. When Wilde left, he travelled to France, where he lived destitute and died of meningitis. Suffering is one long moment. We cannot divide it by seasons. We can only record its moods and chronicle their return. And Reading Prison will be open from Sunday, the 4th of September, until the 30th of October. Thanks so much to you, 